Today we're doing a combination of pregnancy yoga and exercises to work out any aches and pains, but it's not just about stretching, it's also about strengthening in the right areas to keep those aches and pains away. And of course we will prepare the body for birth. So this is designed and great for third trimester, however it's safe for all trimesters and it's never too early to start. I may look like I'm pregnant, I'm actually just wearing a belly for demonstration, but I will continue to put out new pregnancy workouts and birth preparation every week. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start by warming up our spine. We can come to all fours. Once you've had a neutral spine, we can move into hip circles. Let's go the other way. Hold in, not collapsing through your lower back at all. Good, moving in to cat and cow. As we exhale, Pull your baby in, rounding out, dropping your chin. Inhale, look up, tilt your tailbone up, keeping your baby pulled in. Exhale, rounding out. Inhale, look up. One last time, big exhale. Pull your baby in. Inhale, find length in your spine. Coming back to neutral spine, we'll take a C-shaped stretch. So you can turn around and look towards your tailbone or your glutes, stretching out through your ribs. Moving to the other side. One more time on each side. Let's come back on to our knees, or if it's more comfortable, you can stay up on your knees. Let's circle our wrists. You can stretch your hand down just gently. Other hand. Now pointing your fingertips up, gently pull back. This can relieve carpal tunnel. Switching sides. Gently release. Let's clasp our elbows or our hands behind. We can open up through our chest, keeping your ribs and your baby pulled in to protect your core. Externally rotating your upper arms, releasing through your chest. Exhale, coming up. We can come up on to our knees now. Let's release one leg out to the side. You can plant that foot to the ground. Let's reach up and over. Really balloon out through your side ribs here. Taking steady breath. Now you can let your hip of your leg that's out drop down stretching out a little bit through your groin. Again, always stretching gently in pregnancy.
Beautiful, exhale, pull your baby in, engage your obliques to come up. And we're gonna take our hand all the way down to the ground on the other side. We can press our foot that's extended into the ground, activating our inner thighs, our adductors, and then we're gonna lift it off and tap down 10 times. Each time, pressing down into the ground, getting a little bit of adductor activation. Last one, good, let's lift it up, point your toes. We're gonna circle here, keeping our hips nice and steady, not rocking back and forth. Circle the other way. Lengthen your leg out. Let's bend your knee, reach for your ankle. Gentle quad stretch here. Extend your leg again, plant it on the ground. Let's take a nice arm circle here. Releasing through your shoulder. Exhale, engage your obliques. Come back up, we'll switch to the other side. First, keeping your hips even, stretching through your side body and through your ribs. Then dropping through your hip, you can get a little bit deeper. Exhale, pull your baby in. Coming all the way to the other side. Pressing your foot into the ground, then lift, and we'll tap down 10 times pressing your foot into the ground each time. Last one, lift. Point, tiny circles here. Switching directions. Extend your toes away, bending, quad stretch. releasing your foot, planting your foot down on the ground. Nice big arm circles. Good. We can lower our glutes down to the ground. Let's keep one leg extended out for Janu Shirshasana. Let's square our hips over our leg, front leg is flexed. Back of your knee presses down into the ground. Inhale, arms up, and then hinging your hips, reach forward. If you're finding that your belly is big in third trimester, you can also sit on a block or a pillow for this. On every inhale, you get a little bit taller, find a little bit more length.
slowly releasing out. Let's take our bent leg and we can cross our ankle just over top of our knee and then gently walk in our other foot. Moving into figure four or piriformis, lots of length in your spine. Relaxing through your hips, relaxing your pelvic floor. Let's release gently. We can move it to the other side. Your knee rotates open, square your hips. Inhale up, hinging forward. Front foot is flexed. Front leg is activated. Shoulders are relaxed down your back. Release. Moving into our figure four stretch. Ensuring that your top foot is flexed. Good, release. Let's make our way to all fours again. We're gonna do some core work here. We can tuck our toes, exhale, pull in your baby. We're gonna lift our knees off for five, four, three, two, one. Release down. Big inhale into your side and back ribs. Exhale, pulling your baby in. Five, four, three, two, one. Release down, inhale. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Release down, beautiful. Let's take our internal rotation here. And we're gonna rock our hips back and forth. Just keeping in mind when you get to the pushing phase, this is gonna open the outlet of your pelvis to help your baby come out. It's helpful to practice these positions so that when it's time, you don't have to think about it. You're just ready. Coming back to centered, we can bring our ankles back in. We're gonna move into downward dog. If downward dog doesn't feel good for you, you can do it over the back of a chair or a wall. Let's tuck our toes. Heels are releasing it down towards the ground. It doesn't matter if they touch. Looking up at your baby, you can alternate pressing your heel down. Lots of space between your ears and your shoulders. If it feels good, you can center one foot and lift the other leg off. Opening up through your hip, getting an additional stretch. If you have one leg up, you can bring it back down again. 
centering your other foot and bringing the other leg up, allowing the hips to open. Bringing that foot back down if it's up. Let's move down through all fours and we can grab a sip of water. make our way up to standing now we're gonna move into chair pose here spreading our toes weight is evenly distributed between the four corners of our feet and then we're gonna sit back as our hands come up shoulders pressing away from our ears inhale coming up exhale pull your baby in sit back inhale up continue with your own breath Let's hold here on our last one. Inhale, release, beautiful. We're gonna come into goddess pose. We can bring our feet wide apart, hands coming up, bending our knees. Knees are pressing it towards the back of the room. Inhale, coming up, and we'll do 10 here. Squeezing your quads and your glutes at the top. Last one, we'll hold here again, really opening up through your hips. Let's shift our weight back and forth just a little bit. Centering again, releasing out, good. We're gonna move into eagle pose here. We can take one foot out to the side, and then we're gonna cross it around. You can either plant your toe or fully wrap it around. One arm over top of the other, bending at the elbows and reaching for your thumbs or palms. Let's sink down, elbows go up. Steady breaths, pulling your baby in. Shoulders are relaxed, feeling a nice stretch between your shoulder blades. Releasing out. You can switch to the other side. Planting your toe on the ground or wrapping it around. Sinking down once you're in the pose.
releasing out. Good. We can turn it to our right, moving into Warrior 2, Virabhadrasana 2. Shoulders relax down our backs. Pull your baby in. Soft gaze out over your middle finger. Coming out, straightening our front leg. Let's bring our back leg in just a little bit. Pigeon toe it in 30 degrees, moving into Trikonasana. Reaching forward and then stacking your shoulders over top of your front leg. You can look forward or if it's available, you can look up at your top hand. Activating the muscles of your legs. Exhale, pull your baby in. Come up, let's switch to warrior two on the other side. Straightening your front leg, bring your back leg in. Triangle Trikonasana. Exhale. Coming up, let's step the feet closer together. So they're just a bit wider than hip widths apart. We're gonna come down into yogi squat, or alternatively, you could move into a puppy pose if yogi squat isn't comfortable for you. Let's take our hands together, come down. If your heels pop off, that's okay. You can also put something under them, like a toilet paper roll to support them. Elbows pressing into your knees, finding length in your spine. Taking steady breaths. If you're in the last couple weeks of your pregnancy, you may just wanna focus on releasing through your pelvic floor. If you're earlier on in your pregnancy and you're doing pelvic floor exercises, we can add some here. Imagining a blueberry at the opening of your vagina. We'll lift it in squeeze and then fully release at the bottom relax and again You can also do a longer pelvic floor contraction, lifting in and up and then holding for 10 seconds. Release. Let's do one more of those. Lifting in and up. Gently release, fully relax at the bottom. We can also work our fast twitch muscles and we can do as many as quickly as we can. Lifting in and up, making sure we're fully relaxing at the bottom. Good. 
good. Fully release. Let's take a big breath in. <sighs> release out. We come down to a seated position so you can stand up and get back down or just lean forward. We can take our legs out. Let's do some gentle stretches side to side. We can get set up for Shavasana or laying on one side. If you wanted to grab some pillows or blankets for between your knees or underneath your head, you can. You can place your hand on your baby, send your baby some love. Scan your body, relax any areas of tension. Your baby is healthy, happy, and safe inside you and growing perfectly. You can continue to relax here or you can finish up with me taking any last stretch that you need to take. Namaste to you and namaste to the babies. You did amazing and I hope that your body is feeling amazing after that pregnancy yoga and exercises. We went snowboarding last week and my body was super stiff and sore and so I really needed those stretches and exercises. This video is part of the March pregnancy monthly calendar where you get a new video for every day of the month. You can find the monthly calendars over in the community tab. I will also link in the description box below. I will keep putting out new pregnancy workouts every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will also link to the entire playlist of pregnancy yoga and workouts. You can save your favorites, come back to them whenever you like, as well as my natural birth preparation playlist. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know that you can't control everything about your upcoming birth, but you are preparing and it really does make a big difference and you're gonna do amazing.